I realized early on that uh, we're different. I'm talking about men and women, right? There's a lot of people now, they be like, man, of course we're different. You ain't know that? No, I'm talking about early, early on. I'm talking about when I was just getting into my manhood. I was really young, you know, started dating, started taking things seriously with certain females, some of them moving in together with, right? Not really moving in together. It was day place. I moved in with them. You feel me? And I had to learn the ropes, but I learned the hard way that we're different. We're wired different. There's something different about us, right? A lot of things different about us, but there's something with the perception of women. I don't know. You know, it's a brain that you, you don't even want to try to delve into sometimes because it'll take you down a long rabbit hole and the end might be death. You never know. Like, you know. It's crazy, you know, but I experienced going through certain things uh, in the relationship and, you know, and I ain't talking about deep things. I ain't talking about putting hands on each other and nothing like that. I'm talking about ruffling the feathers, things that are just, you know, what every relationship goes through. Uh, some faults of my own, some not, you know, most of them not. Um, and, you know, you got to go. You got to go, Sean. Right? Can't stay here. But sometimes it would be like 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, 10 degrees outside. You feel me? It's like, well, you can't wait until tomorrow. Now nah, you need to leave now. So I get the plastic hefty bag. I think I told this story before. Um, and you leave. But every time I left, there was something in the back of my mind that said, nah, this can't be serious. You know, and I'm talking about not every time I left this situation i'm just talking about in general because it happened a few times right um but every time you leave you're like nah it can't be serious freezing cold outside hear the wind blowing the seeping through the window sills right the cold air is that cold you feel me um you got a hefty plastic bag in your hand full of clothes you're dragging it down the street but you think you're gonna always get that call back like the window is just gonna open and be like sean come back just wait till tomorrow sleep on the couch i've had that happen sometimes but i'm talking about in this situation like it didn't happen it's like that's it you know um the reality always comes when you make that call you wait like three, four hours because you got pride and you like this. Nah, then well, she don't want me there. I'm not going. I'm not going back. I'm not knocking on no door. I'm not begging nobody, whatever. But then it starts getting really cold, like two o'clock in the morning. You're like, nah, I need to make this call, right? So you make the call and you hear the, hello. You know that, that real tired voice, hello. And you're like, hello. What was you doing, sleep? I'm out here and it's about negative 16 degrees and I'm sitting on a crate in front of the 24-hour bodega with a hefty bag and you talking about hello with a crackle in your voice like you've been asleep for seven hours? All right, I see where we at, right? But I realized at that point that women could just turn off like a light. I don't know what it is, how they do it. But in my mind, I'm thinking, I could never do that to you. Short of getting me arrested or getting me locked up or having somebody in my bed. Like, I couldn't do that. Like, just put you out the house, close the door and go to sleep. Not knowing where you roaming around. Like, I couldn't do that. But I realized that women could do that. You feel me? So I learned early on. I said, yeah, we different. Right now, there's some good women out there that's listening to the story, and they be like, "Nah, I can't do that. I got, I got a heart, right?" And I experienced those women too, but for the most part, oh, y'all could be cruel, and you know I'm not lying. You feel me? Um, so it taught me early on: always have your own, always have uh, a situation where you can go to comfortably. Uh, even if it's another person's house. Um, but yeah, don't never, ever get caught up in that situation. Anything like that again. Um, that was in my young, young, young years. 
Uh, now my OG with it. Uh, never that. Love.